I call the shots, I never call it quits. Trust my intuition, bet it's right, and bitch, it often is. Seen too many others come and go, they had the wrong intent. Do it out of love and never for it, then I watch it get bigger than expected. Don't second guess it, I let it set it. It's God's plan, we out here only accepting blessings. I'm stuck with it, this mindset is terminal. Linning at different terminals, leveling up is personal. And I already made it, y'all can miss me. I smack my girl's ass, tell her pinch me. It's hard to believe I made something from nothing. No hindsight discussions. I've been writing, I love it. Welcome to the Three Gig Sports Podcast, where we are never wrong, just sometimes misinformed. We got Rio and Miley in the house tonight. Jimmer is taking the night off. What's up, boys? He's got chlamydia. He's got the clap. He <laughs> yep, got it from Miles. But uh, second time. <laughs> Heck yeah, man, it's uh, just another wild week of some Lamar Jackson news, some wild NCAA basketball games. Yeah, so. let's uh, let's start talking about that, first of all. So we're, we're down to the Final Four in the men's yep. and women's bracket. Talk about your Texas Longhorns. You were giving me some Ouch. insight to that game. Ouch. No, it, it's not even meant to be a dig, but you were giving right. me some insight to that. Yeah, you know, um, big-time discrepancy in the free throws. After halftime, what were the numbers? Like thirty-five to fourteen, I believe, is what it was, and they just started calling everything. Texas had a double-digit lead, you know, had to close the gap, and yeah, it just seems like the ref got involved. You know, they've you let Texas play a certain way all half, and then you completely change when they come out. I don't know. I seen that on a documentary once. Definitely weird. What was it? The the NBA documentary. Remember? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They'd come out of the locker room to sweat. They'd be like, "Oh well, this is now a foul after halftime." And yeah, started. Or they're like, "This is a plus or minus or whatever." We got to get them back in the game. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. You yeah. were, and I was actually telling him there was a guy who who pointed out conspiracy theory on the when the when the spreads were changing. Yeah, and they start calling more fouls on on them, and he did it. On, there was one more game that he. Um, he brought up as well, um, like a tournament game. Yeah, yeah. Another one that ended up close, uh, and the underdog ended up winning. Well, it wasn't the Gonzaga game. No, 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 no. Um, it might have been a round or two before that, though. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it had to be Can- Kansas then. Kansas and uh... no, 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 no. Okay, mm-hmm. but but either way, I mean, it was a good game. Texas had a good run. Uh, Rodney Terry got his contract. Um, deserved, right? Well deserved. Yeah. Five year. I didn't see the final number. Um, but yeah, well deserved. I was wondering, you know, I was really wondering if he'd feel disrespected by them waiting for so long and uh, and go somewhere else. But ultimately, he took the job. And I mean, it was, we have a big star, five star recruit that's committed, and, and he was pumped. You know, and Hell staying. Yeah. So that's that's pretty awesome. That is good to hear, man. There were some crazy games going into this Final Four. So let's talk about the Final Four, man. So we've yeah. got what? UConn, let's pull this FAU, up. Uh, yeah, nine seed FAU, baby. That's San who we're rolling. State, with. Right? Do, do you see how uh, media plays their plays their words real well? So like the FD FDU coach, uh, you know, states that he's going here, and then everybody starts freaking out. Why would the FAU coach do that? Or it could just be people not reading their vowels very well, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, so FDU's head coach has committed to, I want to say a team that begins with S- a C. Sinet. No, it's an S. It is an S. Yeah. Okay. Seton. Sinet. No, not not Seton Hall, but uh, uh, Seton Hall. Um. But, yeah, I saw that, yeah. And everybody's in the comments freaking out. Why would he do that when his team's in the Final Four when you wait? And I'm like, I would just want to comment, like, even me. I'm a, You know, when I read that stuff, I was like, oh, shit, he really did do that? And then I say, FDU, not FAU. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a difference. I don't think people pay attention. So, yeah, there's San Diego State, FAU, Miami, and UConn. So it's three out of the four haven't won a championship? I yeah, that's right. Yep. yep, UConn has, and I think that's it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good old Kemba Walker. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we won't pick a championship. Let's do this like week by week here. But who do you think gets out? So San Diego State, FAU first. It's been a wild tournament, so I have no fucking idea how this is going to go. Right, but let's walk, rock with FAU, man. They're uh, they're balling out, playing really tough. Um, stick it to the game plan. 
you know, it doesn't seem they kind of go outside of what they do and have been doing all year. So I'm going to call them to keep on rolling. Yeah, when you have the coach from the other team that you just defeated coming in your locker room telling you that you're the hardest team he's played all year, I'm going to give it to him too, FAU. Man, I'm riding the boat too, man. Let's get FAU in this thing. They've Their games have been pretty close. They know how to win close games. I feel like this will be a close game too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Nine seed in the finals is what we're saying, baby. How about Miami-UConn, gentlemen? Tougher pick just because, I mean, seeing the Texas game, I see them play so bad. Uh, that first half it seemed like, and, you know, when their uh, best guys not do so well and, you know, turn around the second half. So, I don't know, but if you show me you can dig yourself out of a hole like that, you know, it's hard to go against Miami. Um is, is UConn a blue blood? Do they consider them a blue blood? So let's talk about blue bloods, right? Duke, North Carolina, UCLA, Kansas. Kentucky. Kentucky. I don't think UConn's in the blue blood category. Yeah, no. I would say. Okay. Maybe in women's basketball. Just yeah, because oh. they're so fucking uh, dominant <laughs> for so uh, long. Definitely. Uh, so you're riding Miami? Yeah, I think so. Man, they, this one is a tough one. They both have beat and the way UConn beat the shit out of Gonzaga too mm-hmm. was impressive. Um, that man, that, that's tough. That and that alone is why I'm picking UConn. So did Texas though. <laughs> Texas blew Gonzaga out by twenty early in the year. Was did that? they? Yep. Who did? Did you see that game where they played on a ship? Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. I watched that. I was on the beginning of the year. Yeah. Who was that? It was uh, Zaga and uh, North yeah. Carolina. Yeah, I think so. Lost uh, Zaga because that's won. when we, I think we played Arkansas to open the year, and we in that same deal, and we blew Arkansas out too. And that's when I had to find out that people actually. Bet or on. no, we played UNC first, blew them out, and then we played Arkansas, beat them by eighteen. I had to preach to somebody about betting teams by what one point five or. Yeah, because one point one is one point five, right? I'm not sure. What you're you're yeah, like, what so you're if at? if I pick this team to win and they need to win by one point five in basketball, right? Mm-hmm. That that's that's why would you not just take them to win outright? Right. Yeah. 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 So I had to do some preaching on that, <laughs> and I got my my dedicated uh, sports betting friend to actually sway the other. He's like, "Oh, you're exactly right. Why wouldn't I have?" He's like, why would I have not just taken them? To or double bet. It depends on what it's. Yeah, you could have done that too. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going. I'm going to go Miami because I. So I actually had a lot of faith in Texas. I thought they could have made a run and won the whole damn thing the way they were playing. Mm-hmm. And Miami, possibly conspiracy theory rigged or not, uh, they did end up beating Texas. So I'm going to go Miami in this game. Yeah, they hit their shots, man. And that's all you can ask for in, when it's time. So. Out of the four teams, have any catastrophic events happened in their city? Yeah, no shit. Where's the best story? Talk mm-hmm. about that, right? Yeah. I don't know. Right now? No, no, I'm just saying. I don't know if there's any good stories from these. Well, I'll tell you what. Outside of this, don't don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball? Or not picking up what I'm putting down. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this segue. I like what you're doing. You saw that? Yeah. Crazy. Yes. I- insane. So it, it was, I, so I totally missed that message because I, all I had seen was Chris's at 630. And then I just double checked your notes before we started. And I was like, yeah, that was the dumbest, devious thing I've ever seen. He thought he threw it to the Empire first off. But I'll let you go ahead and get to that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's perfect. Let's lay the groundwork for that, right? So we're not even in the regular season for baseball yet. It's all bullshit right now. But Philadelphia Fitch, Phillies catcher JT Ramuto. Ramuto, yeah. Ramuto. Uh, he was ejected in his spring training game against the Blue Jays for a really fucked up exchange. So basically, the pitch before the umpire called, um, the pitcher took too much time, right? Yeah, we got a pitch count violate or yeah, pitch time violation. violation yeah, right. So. so he threw him the ball back, right. and he didn't like that ball, so he wanted another ball. And so the catcher put his hand up to take the ball from the umpire, but then he dropped it thinking he was going to throw it to the pitcher again like he just did. And the fucking umpire freaks out right. like a diva so, and kicks him out of the game. Kind of also for speculation, right? He didn't like the ball, the pitcher, so he threw it to the ump. 
or over to the side. Um, threw him another ball. He didn't like that one either. Threw it away. DT Ramudo put, puts his glove back. You know, then he's like, he's waiting a second too long. So he figured he must have already thrown one to him. So he goes, moves his glove right as, you know, Ump can't see him. Drops the ball down, doesn't like it immediately, tosses him. Because that's an, uh, that's another new ball at that point, too, because that fell on the ground, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah, yeah, it could have been. So why not eject the pitcher? <laughs> well, it's just. No, it's spring training baseball. Yeah. No, I get that. But if you're, you're going to eject a guy who's waiting on you and you took too long in the first place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's just being, he thought old boy was like basically embarrassing Messing with him. him maybe. Yeah. And so this dude, I didn't know this, this catcher, Ramuto, Ramuto, if I could talk, he's never been ejected from a game. First ever. time for everything, baby. And he gets ejected from a fucking spring training, spring training game. game. That is not going to be on his record, is it? I, I don't I don't know how that works. I don't know. But I, I'm just tired of whether it's referees, umpires, whatever the case, they mm. want to be too much in the spotlight. Yeah, and involving themselves in, in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sick of that. They've got too much control for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you almost should be able to challenge it. Yeah. He should be suspended for that matter. You know, you know oh, I yeah, mean? for sure. I mean, but I mean, something like that, you should be able to be like, hey, don't, you know. Or like, just man up and be like, when you talk to him and he's like, dude, I thought you threw it. Like, realize, oh, shit, I overreacted. Okay, fine. Let's play. Like, right. at least do that. But you right. just have the, you know, I don't know. You just want to stick to your guns and throw them out of the game. Man. Well, if you do that, then anybody thinks they're going to have an argument with you, though. If you try to argue, let's say you allow it one time, you know, let's say, hey, you know what? I messed up on this. You can come back. Well, I'm a guy that actually messed up. Now I'm up in your face. As a- I think in, if you do it in a spring training game, it's kind of like whatever. Now, maybe if you do it in the regular season, sure. You probably stick by your word. But for spring training, we're all just here what doing what? Get ready for the regular season, right? Well, it's spring. It's spring training. This this ump wanted to go get messed up elsewhere, not on the field. Probably had a couple of drinks. Balls were getting a little too big. So I'm gonna just eject somebody. That's, that's, I mean, it's basically what he so, did. So so Miles shouldn't be a ref uh, <laughs> or an umpire. Okay, so we we nailed that down. They're not, <laughs> right. they're not getting ejected. They're getting e. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> no shit. Ejected and erected. You got it, folks. We got it. <laughs> Words of wisdom right here. No, I I don't know. It's just it's kind of sad to see. Like, because the rule change is already weird enough, so the pitcher took too much time and, mm-hmm. you know, all that. I didn't realize it was that much back and forth. I thought it was just once before. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just bullshit. They get yeah. too involved. Yeah, way too involved and just silly. Yeah. Silly. 100%. What do you think? So let's flip something for a minute here because uh, you're a big Maver- Mavericks fan. That okay? I am. What's going on with the Mavericks right now? I mean, just trying to figure out what's, you know, uh, you bring somebody in when you're already playing well and trying to fit him into the scheme. He's making a lot of money, so he's got to be on the floor. He didn't get a chance to adjust during the, you know, so the learning curve is now, right? Um, You don't have an offseason. You don't have a, you know, preseason to try to gel everything together. So it's going to take a little bit. Do you think they have a chance to make a run? That I don't know. Both of them need the ball in their hands. Or seem to. Yeah. That's a tough thing. He, I thought they would mesh better faster because Luke is really similar to LeBron. Like, he needs the ball in his hand all the time, and LeBron and Kyrie work great together. So I thought, fuck, this could be amazing. And maybe it still could. Yeah. But it started off so rough. And then that weird game against Golden State, it seems like they got some bad luck going their way, too. Yeah. Did you see that play, too, by yeah, the way? Yeah, I did. I did. And. Luca got fined, you know, so thirty five thousand for his money gesture. Yeah. Um you know, I almost want to see, you know, Kyrie wants to play almost I mean, sparingly, kind of, you know, like save his body. So like, okay, dude, Luca's our guy, you are shooting threes. Right? Yeah. Stand out in the corner and wherever you like and shoot a three. Yeah. Until you can get fit in better and Right. Yeah. Yep, hundred percent. Because Luca is Maybe the best bas- best player in basketball right now, right? Like, Arguably. just bottom line, he really yeah. could be top three, five, whatever. Like, he's up there. And so you, that's got to be your priority, right? Get mm-hmm. Just keep winning games like you had been and then slowly get Kyrie mixed in. Yep. It's just they're falling right now, man. And the West isn't 
stacked by any means, but everybody's close. So they're just going to drop to like five, six seed here real soon, seven, whatever. Right. But how dangerous is that when if they do click come and you're seeing that five, six, seven seed, you know, rolling? Totally agree. Yeah, the potential's there, bro. Right. God. Speaking of that, actually, our guy, we talked about KD going to Phoenix, Miles. KD's about to Come suit back. up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully it's not a home game. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't roll his ankle. Well, in the year of the comeback, uh, back to the Mavs there, they're going to – the year of the comeback, uh, the greatest comeback ever would be <laughs> Deontay West <laughs> coming back. For old boy's mom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. Bang, LeBron, bang LeBron's mom and then end up homeless. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, man. Well, yeah, once you disrespect the king, right? That's right. Um, <laughs> That's right. You can't get a job. You know, fun, funny thing, talking about the Mavericks a little bit, our, our good buddy, Matty Hiscox, put on Twitter the other day. He's like, one of the worst things uh, Cuban ever did was uh, letting Jalen Brunson go. I'm like, hold on, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you happen to remember him winning a championship in 2011 and then dis- immediately dismantling the entire team. Right. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately. There was no hesitation. They might have just got done popping champagne bottles and he started trading and cutting people. So <laughs> Yeah, dude. 100%. They, I mean, they were an older team, but it didn't have to go like right. that. Like, not yeah, like that. No. no. He didn't want the pub- publicity. Yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, I knew it's a new reality, a one and done. Yep, he's all about the Shark Tank. He's Miles knows about the one and done. <laughs> Every day. <Yeah. laughs> one and You take it. Hey, whatever. Take that chip, whatever, man. Oh, oh, I, thought you, about I, thought yeah, <laughs> I thought you were talking about in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Touche. <laughs> he was talking about the Rams. <laughs> Jeez. Either way, I'm ramming it for one and done. <laughs> uh, one pump. Dude. <laughs> I I know about dismantling after one and done. That's for sure. Have you have you seen the roster? Yeah, that is the craziest roster right now. You're like the Saints almost with your gap space. <laughs> yeah, and now they're trying to sign OBJ. Like with, he's, with he's going what? to the Jets, bro. Yeah. No, no, no. You got you got to read up on it. All right. He's committed. Like him and Sean McVay are committed to each other. Like maybe in bed too. I don't know, but it's, <laughs> either way. I, I do know like one Let's guy. do a whiskey wager on it. I'll just say he doesn't he doesn't <laughs> sign with the, the Rams. We'll no, take the field. No, no, I'll no, take no. the field. You take the you, you get thirty one other teams? <laughs> uh yeah. Yes. You you are you have inside information that I don't. Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. All right. If he that'd be wild. I'll just do it. First now, of all, though. they can't afford it. Who? The Rams. This year. He's gonna want twenty something million. This year? No, he don't. He don't want twenty million. We're gonna have the we're we're gonna have the second Are one. you are you sure on this? That's not what I heard. Yeah, that's what. No, no, he said he didn't want 20 mil. He, he's like, he wants like. Okay. He said, but I'm worth more than four. He's like, I didn't say I want 20 mil. He's like, but I'm worth more than okay. four. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear that one. I think he's going to get eight to 12. No, as he should. Yeah. But he's probably going to want more than that. Because he also wants long term. For like one long year. Long ish term. For four one years. Year, uh, I don't know, but I mean, I can't remember who said it, brought it up, but they were talking, compared him with. They were like, he's worth probably about $12 million. And. I could probably I agree with that, yeah. but he, he probably wants one a, a little more. Maybe he would do something like that for one year just to show that he can get more and do like a multi-year contract or something. But I think he wants like you know a four-ish year contract for sure. Yeah, he wants stability for yeah. sure. What what is the Saints cap space like? <laughs> negative yeah. uh, What's the something number Negative hundred something I don't know yeah. It's insane But they have a full roster Right now right Yeah Yeah The the Rams have like 32 Players on their roster Right now But we have 11 picks It's fake man You guys have been Fucking the system For long enough You should know that it, But it eventually Catches up to you Danny is what I'm learning I don't know Shady's tax service Might be under FDA approval <laughs> No shit man That's, You know, you know I jump teams man I'm not a homie hopper. Well, that's false, but <coughs> <laughs> you can always go for a new quarterback too. I mean, Lamar Jackson said he asked for a trade, right? I don't want that. <coughs> I don't Allegedly, want that. I don't want that. Allegedly, I've I've learned about knee injuries and how they don't need to come to the Rams. I mean, it's worked for Cooper Cup, but uh, that's talking about your running back. Acres tore his Achilles, but Todd Gurley, yeah, Todd Gurley would have gone down as probably one of the greatest. I mean, he had one of the greatest seasons ever by a running back. A lot of guys have a really good season. Where's Austin Eckler going to go? 
Yeah, that's crazy. God. He's important to that fucking team, too. So, I don't know, man. But he's tight. I mean, they can literally play hardball if they want. Yeah. Could be because he just signed the extension not that long ago. Okay, and then last last thing here about Lamar. How do oh, for me? How does he? Uh, so he. We didn't even get into it. Oh yeah, shit, my bad. We yeah. didn't even get into it. But that yeah. was that so, was the intro to it, man. Yeah, yeah, so he requ- he uh, the, tweeted out that he requested a trade earlier this month. Mm-hmm. On the second. It, yeah, his second or third, and he. Um, I guess my question is like, does this change anything? The fact, in your opinions, that the fact that he asked for a trade. Yes. Well, they're still going to get two picks from him, right? Because, it, but, so, um, here's the deal. They have to offer, somebody's got to offer a contract for them to say no. But then the trade comes into play then, right? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's going to, uh, they can either match or say no and get two picks, two first-round picks, mm-hmm. which, if you think he's a starting quarterback, it's that's easy. A, that's cheap. Yeah. Cheap, right? Yeah, I I don't know. It's just such a weird situation, but now knowing you know that he asked for a trade if I'm another team, you know, potentially either way he's he's going to have to get a contract here soon. Right? So you can go, well, he don't want to play for him. Does he chance it and try to sit? That's exactly where my head's at. Try to sit. He walks out. Baltimore gets nothing. Yeah. Totally. Because they're agree. not going to cap him again. Teams are just going to wait and be like, at that point, we give up nothing, and it's a bidding war with Lamar Jackson. That's it. Yeah. I, I've heard way too many like analysts and commentators talk about how it didn't change anything. They're in the same boat. A team just has to match, yada, yada. But that tells me his ass does not, like flat more than ever before, does not want to play for Baltimore, and he would be willing to sit out. If he's willing to sit out, they totally get fucking hosed, like you said, right? Yeah. It's so they have to be thinking about that too. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have been a first round pick if it wasn't for Baltimore. Here's the thing, too, though. I mean, I, I'm, I'm still going because if you think he's legit, that guy that can come in and throw passes and be the quarterback you think he is without having to move your offense, you do that. No brainer. Yes. So here's where I'm thinking a lot of the teams, I understand the whole Deshaun Watson contract coming into play. And when I get that, I I do think that partly comes in play too. But I think teams don't believe in his ability to one, throw the ball that many times. And two, you've got to change what you're doing on offense. I mean, look at Baltimore, no receivers, right? Haven't besides Marquise Brown, basically. Yes, but, like, good receivers. So, I mean, besides yeah. that, you know, your tight end is going to get some looks. But he's going to need to go to a team that's going to be run heavy. Yes. 100%. And are you – when you bring him in, you know you have to do that. You can't run your offense. You go get Lamar, you've got to run his – an offense for him. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it's unless hard, right? you're sold on, and this is why I don't think, unless you're sold on that he's a good, really good passing quarterback. That's why it's kind of handicapped him being in that system because we don't know, mm-hmm. right? He hasn't had a ton of opportunities to be able to see like how good he's been. Um, but I do think that, uh, like, a it's got to be run heavy, right? So, fucking Niners, right? Could be an option. Eventually, they're gonna have to pay somebody at the quarterback spot. He would fit right. in really well. Um, imagine the threat that they would have, the multiple threats adding mm-hmm. him in. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, any team that's got two really solid running backs, if Rodgers wasn't going to the Jets, you could say there, right? If I'm Indy, I'm going, here's number five, and yes. let's go. Yes. Like, why, why not? You why know not? what he is. You right. don't know what these other guys are going to be yet. Mm-hmm. And so. you're sitting in a bad spot. Yeah. For Because Bryce and um, Stroud are going to go. They're going to yeah. be gone. So now you take a pick on Will Levis, who you're, everybody's going on upside, and a kid from Richardson. Florida who he tested off the charts, but how many guys have tested off the charts and not done well? Yeah. You know, a bit, just, a, just an athlete. Yep. You know, he's an athlete. You know, they're, they're, you're betting also on his upside. If, I, if I'm Indy, I'm going, you know, let's do this. Here's my five and my five pick and whatever it takes to 
just get him. Yeah. Yeah, and then it, so Indy, God damn it, Indy makes the most sense. You've got to do it. You've got a great running back already. Right. Ray, add him in. You don't your, have the your best line, receivers. Your line fell apart, but we know what the potential to be, you know, is there, you know, um, yeah. You got to bring some fans in. That team was pathetic to watch last year. Mm-hmm. Just bringing him is going to put, you know, boots at fucking – Asses in the seats. Like, there, there's a lot of upside to doing that. Now, if they don't, we you have to look at a team that just flat out needs a quarterback, right? Like, um, yeah, I don't know. There's at Houston. least 10 of them, Houston. right? right. Houston's a big one, obviously. They probably are going to get the, you know, the quarterback that they want in the draft, though. So it's like then you start thinking outside of that. What's Miami going to do in reality, right? Because old boy is Tampa Bay and he's a fucked. quarterback. Yeah. Um, Houston's the only thing that still makes sense to me, though. They already got the. I already called Cliff Kingsbury. I'm calling this one too. Yeah. No, you don't do that because you're not with where you're at. I think Houston. Look at the control of these guys is a big time. Like Lamar, he's going to get a massive contract like next year. Mm-hmm. Here's the deal: you draft a rookie quarterback, he's making pennies for five years. Not in the first round, though. Yeah, pennies. pennies. Pennies compared to what you would pay somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, what, yeah. what you're going to pay Lamar Jackson, yeah, right? Yeah, So you've got five years to, okay, first two years, probably going to be a little rocky, but I have time to collect pieces, get them, you know, play and turn a franchise around. Yeah. And that's what they're trying to do, right? Yeah. So you take two years of hard learning with a young quarterback, you start collecting your pieces, draft young players, get some playing time, you're three, you're probably looking at, let's see what we got. Um that's that's how I think that about it. I don't I don't think Houston does sense. that. That does make more sense. Yeah, but if you could pull them away from your competition, though, what? But then put not. yourself in what position? You know, then you can't build anything. If I'm not going, you're not going. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you know another interesting one. New England should be in this conversation too. They're run heavy as fuck. That has been picking up more in the media yeah. too. Yeah. I, I just I don't know what they're going to do. And I it's I think Baltimore needs to think about this now, too, because they could end up in the same boat. Well, running back, did you guys just let go instead of trying to trade for him earlier? Well, we try to get uh, Cam Akers, but we end up letting go of Daryl. Yeah, yeah Henderson. releasing Daryl Henderson to the Jags, who then in turn released him. But but still, you had something you could have got value for it, right? No, not him. He was out of nowhere. It was Cam Akers. No, no, I know that. But it, I'm saying you cut him instead of trade it. You could have still traded Henderson. You could have got something for him. Yeah. So it's the same thing with Baltimore. They could at least get something for him, oh. or he could sit, and you're fucked 100% yeah, yeah, all the way yeah, around, yeah. right? So, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't – I think, like, the more this plays out, the odds of him legit sitting this year just go up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think so too, bro? Yeah, you should just – let him tag him, sit it out, collect that money, and wait till next year. I don't know if he collects. He why? Sits out why would he not? Tag. He's pissed off that he got the tag. And with the tag comes money. Yeah, I don't know how the tag works when you're sitting out, though. I don't know if you still get that. Right? Yeah, I don't know either. You, you would. I'm sure you could I would, fines of some sort, but I'm not sure how that. I mean, I would still go to all the camps. I would still participate, but who was that? Uh, what, didn't we just go through this a couple of years ago? Somebody was always injured when he... Oh, well, Michael Thomas, maybe? Yeah, he was. Gallo, uh, Kenny Galladay. Yeah, there was, there was somebody that was injured but wasn't the whole time, and everybody uh, knew it. I don't know. He just wanted to ride the bench. I If I could put a name on it. Well, the other thing with him is if he doesn't show up to any – like, they've got a new OC there. And so the offense is yeah. going to change. So if he doesn't show up to anything, he's not going to be up to speed and they're going to be fucked even more if they don't, you know what I mean, figure something out. I don't think the out. offense is going to change. I think you have to build your playbook around what Lamar Jackson does best. I, I don't disagree, but why do you bring in a new OC? Yeah, you kind of had to. Didn't he take a job somewhere else? No, they let him go. Did they let yeah, him go? Oh. Yeah. He got <laughs> – he got ousted because all the fucking injuries and because Lamar was hurt and they didn't win. They had to cut somebody. Yeah. So I don't know. I yeah. Tell you, I tell you what, they play on that Bengals field once a year, and that's that's that city there. That's that's that's. Do you ever do you ever tell Rio that stat? I don't know if he was on for that one. Uh, the three. 
the four biggest injuries in uh, NFL history have all happened on the Bengals field. Oh, yeah. I, I heard it or you Sh- said, yeah. Shazier or the, the Shazier, guy. Shazier, yeah, the uh, linebacker for Pittsburgh. Dan, DeMar Hamlin. Okay. Uh, Who did uh, Burt for Antonio Brown. There you go. Antonio Browns. Yeah, CTE. Maybe, maybe it's yeah. three. There, I swear there's one more, though. Was Tua another one of those? Yeah, Tua. Tua yeah. was the last one, yeah. Yep. Yep. Shitty field, apparently, man. I don't know. So I mean, it's the city of what is it? Uh, city of Queens or some something like that. Is that what it is? Something weird. It's a shitty name. Used to I tell you what though. So when I worked on the barges, uh, I used to go up and down the Ohio River, and you could look into the Bengals Stadium, and then the so that that's that's a beautiful sight itself, right? But then when you get up to Pittsburgh, and you can look like you can Heinz Field's open so that you can see it from the river. Oh, that's so awesome. Is it pretty cool? Yeah. I mean, it, it it blows the Bengals stadium out by about 10, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's a legendary field. I've never, yeah, I've never seen that. View. It sits level. Know. Like, so the Bengals is kind of up on a levee, but then the Heinz, Heinz field is down like level with the water damn near. No yeah. shit. Yeah. I didn't even know it was that close to be honest with you. Close to the river. Oh, I mean, it's still off a good way. Like, I don't know, a couple hundred yards, maybe. But st- yeah, it's still closer. To I mean, yeah, that's still. Yeah. Close. Oh, it's so close awesome, though. Hell yeah. Well, I don't know, boys. There's not a ton of other sports stuff going on right now. We're kind of in the slow season, man. Bullshit umpiring, trade stuff. So we're going to slide down to the conspiracy theories. Give us one. What do you got? I don't have one. I wasn't prepared. You weren't prepared tonight? I haven't seen I haven't seen Chris talk about one for a while. Come on, Chris. Oh my God. Give us mm. one. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Any of them. I'm trying to flip to my notebook. Have I Have I told you? So, <laughs> yeah, you think of one, but have I told you guys this? I got bored one day. Uh, I was watching Monsters, Inc. I, I, maybe I said this on here. I'm not sure. But I got bored. My daughter, Nova, just loves watching Monsters, Inc. That's all we watch. So cool. Great time. We got a 2319. We got a 2319. Nobody. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Anyways, I started Googling the people's names in the movie, like Sully, the old the old lady. She was number one. Uh-huh. Uh, I started Googling uh, Sullivan. All these names are tied to people who are in the electric company or are for, uh, like, new energy and stuff like that it was it's i i just got bored you know maybe it's somewhere on reddit i've came across it maybe like 10 years ago but i i just got bored one day and i started googling all these names like how the hell did they call this this lady looks like she's my age and this movie's what 15 years old it's just crazy like, that's weird those movies do a lot of weird stuff like that like what is it that's not pixar right whatever the hell whoever uh, makes that what's well, DreamWorks or Yeah whatever that is They tie a lot of the like Movies together With different shit You'll see Like see, Not like necessarily scenes But like pictures Or maybe like parts of scenes From other movies In yeah. those and stuff like that I only see this Because people have way too much time And they'll pull this shit up And they'll splice it together And be like look Oh then there's this And then there's this And I don't know There's some cool stuff What's What electric company though Are you talking about Well it's not like I'm not naming like electric. It's like People in political movements for certain electricity movements like oh like i don't know how to like green energy i wish i would have i wish i would have screenshotted some of it but it was just blowing my mind name after name didn't matter whose name on this movie if it was said it had something to do with an electrical movement okay so how many times do you think you've watched this movie uh Three times a day, times when is she Jeez. Almost, Jesus almost Christ. two, um, seventy times three. Quite a bit, holy. A God. lot. <laughs> and I watched it. My sister was obsessed with it when growing up. So you know how times that amount. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it quite a bit too, but I wouldn't have remembered that number until you uh, said it, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, the only reason that I remember the number is we had some hazmat training going on at work, and a guy dressed up and oh, <laughs> yeah. and. I just hear somebody, one of your best friends, Chris. (laughs) 
we got a 2019. We got and I I worked eight hours the night before. Had eight hours of training because I didn't want to come go home and then come back for the train. So I just worked 16 hours that day, running on no sleep. I hear that I am literally crying, laughing like I just I got it. Nobody else did. Who's <laughs> my so best friend? <laughs> Name begins with a T. Ends with an M. <laughs> he has a sleeve. <laughs> best friend. You should stab you. Best friends <laughs> forever. No, but he, that guy said that. I'm dying laughing. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're the only one that caught it for sure, too. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you all dig right. up a conspiracy? No, I'm, I'm drawing blanks on, on uh, any of mine. All right. All right, Danny. Then it's all good. You got one. Uh, what do I have today? That's a pretty good conspiracy. Um, while you do that, I will actually Google one of these names just to run it by you. Yeah, you can do that. Hmm. I did see on, I think a video on like TikTok or something not too long ago that technically the NFL and NBA are entertainment sports. So they can technically rig their games. Um, if they wanted to. Oh, so now, okay. Do you believe that that's true? Yes. Everything's rigged. no hesitation. It's so rigged. When to is a it? Extent. When? Uh, so do you believe in the script? Like everybody's saying, here's a script, and <laughs> you get the beginning of the season, and then they go, you know. No, I think Arian Foster is off his fucking rocker. First of all, <laughs> okay. That man, is, that man is nuts. Yeah, one too many hard hits running <laughs> yeah. out the middle. I but I but I do think like the they rely a lot on the refs and stuff like that to slightly change games just enough and they have who they want to win. They in like in the example the Chiefs, you know, they should not have won the Super Bowl this year. They they were not the better team, but mm-hmm. they got it done for one reason or another. Maybe steroids in a good old Patty's ankle. I don't know what happened there, right. but yeah. I th- I do think there's something to it. Some of the things are too obvious. Like New Orleans winning the Super Bowl after the hurricane and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, tragedies. I mean, keep brought it up. You know, or just tragedy, a good story. Uh, a lot distracting from what's going on. You know, and the you always need a good story to cover up what's going on, like economy wise and stuff like that. So, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't believe the whole script thing, but definitely could be like, hey, let's we're trying to tip it. Hey, we just need to nudge it just a right. little bit, yeah. I would even say that I, I almost believe that they, you know, you see kickers miss kicks and stuff like that, or receivers miss or whatever. That NFL may be like, okay, we have all these players, important players. Here's the deal: we're giving you this much of money underneath the table if you can influence the game, if or when we need you to. Man, the kickers missing kicks thing is interesting because I feel like this year we saw way more just normal field goals missed than we've ever seen, right? I feel like it's, yeah, been like crazy like amount. Like, And then it, how how much does that fuck with the line when, when exactly. it comes to Vegas, right? Yeah, when yeah. they miss field goals. Dude, that one's, I haven't really thought much about that. That's interesting. Like what could they do though? Maybe under the table, do they somehow different ball gets flipped in? Like, well... Uh, remember when, um, who, we, who did we talk to? Our guest speaker that played in oh, the NFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when he was talking about the insurance deal, you have to have so many accredited years for the NFL. Maybe they go before you can get the you know lifetime insurance. Maybe they're like, here's lifetime insurance for. Ooh, I like where your head's at. All right. Oh. See, Jimmer, kickers are way more important to the NFL than you think they are. Way bro. more in fantasy football. In fantasy oh. especially. I am pretty jacked. I got the number one pick. I have to wear the pink shirt, but. No, go. not you didn't hear? Not the pink shirt. Miles, you still have that, right? No, I have it. That? His outfit? Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh, I get to wear that? I think, yeah. I think that thing actually got pitched, man. Gosh. Like, that, was a, that was a one. <laughs> that was a, yeah. That was a one and done. <laughs> That was a long one and done, man. You had that bitch on all day. I know, dude. I, I went down all gravel day. roads with that. I mean, it just was not a good. At thing. least you know your your um your crack was definitely flossed. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> it, oh, I had to no get dingleberry. No brown, dingleberries so. there. I mean, it's messed up that I thought about bleaching my butthole for that. 
That is a little messed I up. I just thought if I was going to take it to one extreme, might as well. You know, you know what I'm saying? I do think, though, we we have to add something. We're seeing, like, uh, TikTok's giving really good ideas on, the like, what the losers should have to do and stuff. Like, I love mm. the whole, you got to go on a date with, like, with a With love doll? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know if we could always get the loser to do something. Like, people. Either you you do it or you're out. Yeah, exactly. That's the way And you're never be. in. Again. Done. Excommunicado. Blinded by the light. Yes. Gandhi. Gandhi? Gandhi. Gandhi. Not 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 Joe Gotti. Gandhi. <laughs> like what well, like Joe Gotti, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. Who's got a good story? Who's got to make sense? Miles, I'm gonna put this one on you since uh, you didn't have a conspiracy. Uh yeah, I, I kinda I don't know if I have one, but uh Okay, I guess. Do you have one? Because mine, mine's just going to be about you in this morning. <laughs> Go ahead I and like tell them story. about... I like this story. Go ahead and tell them about me in this morning. Because uh, I feel like this involves you in this morning. <laughs> but, uh, or okay. something last night, perhaps. So, I've been working. Working hard, I hear. Hard, 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 hard. Uh... You know, I got told to go up, do some power washing outside at night. Nice and cold, real cold. I did it for uh, until maybe 12. I think it's getting darker and colder, and I became a little wussy. But I didn't, I wasn't ready to quit. It's already dark when you get to work on Oh, shh. Matter of fact, the moon's out. It's probably brighter at that yeah, point, Miles. Yeah, real bright. Real, real bright. Yeah, until the lights the, kick on. Until the alien ships cover it. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, so I'm out there power washing and uh, get go warm up, lines freeze up, get told to go help with some other things, go do these other things. And uh, on this said particular thing that I was supposed to wash that it was too cold for me to do, my buddy Chris here has done it. When he literally sprays the wand and it's freezing as it's coming out, so Miles loses that argument right there. So you know the old timer guys, they've done it all. They don't like to hear that shit. I don't blame them. I was a little down on myself. Fuck these old guys. I walk to school ten miles uphill both yeah, ways. That's yeah, all yeah, that yeah, shit. You know, is. Chris, it's yeah. all bullshit. With half a foot. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's all lies. <laughs> so so, you know. The next shift comes in, you know, like, yeah, fuck you, Miles, you know, like. What, they said that? Yeah, well, he did, didn't he? <laughs> he basically said that, didn't he? And I didn't listen to him. And either. here's Rio, the master of, like, just making you dig your own grave, not acknowledging me, not giving me the time of day. Did it work? <laughs> it got in my head. It was, I was so, in my, I was like, oh, dude, Rio is about to, like, come unleashed. And I'm leaving, he, he just opens, the, just go. Just open the door. Just go. And I'm like, oh, you know what? If that's all I'm getting, I was like, Chris, you could save it for the, the podcast night. He goes, just go. That's it. That's all I'm getting. And I'm like, oh, man. So now, like, now I'm walking out and I'm looking behind my back. Like, like oh. am I about to get stabbed? And I'm like, it's coming. It's coming. It. I made it all the way to the locker room. Nothing. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was in my own head. It's the calm before the storm. I, mm-hmm. No, no, yeah. no. It's coming. It's, uh. There will be a time I follow Chris, and it was too cold, Miles. <laughs> That's right. So no, he said he came to work in a good mood today, man. He had breakfast and coffee. Right. Breakfast, oh. breakfast in bed. It was crazy. Maybe some. <laughs> Never mind. He did it for the nookie. The nookie. <laughs> Little limb biscuit. So what? I took that fucking cookie. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. So, anyways, I was waiting for the rain to just rain down on me, and I didn't get literally anything. You know, I didn't get time of day. That, that's okay. <coughs> but if you know, not every shift is staffed the same and everything. But if I am a lead or somebody of that nature, and I have heard that, you know, sometimes we need to look at the weather to tell, you know, from you. You you know, you just brought that insight to my my thing. You were told that we need to look at the weather. You know that third shift had more people than we did. and We got more people than bullshit. We got more done than. 
That's because Keep you're going. That's because you're on there, Rio. Well, I, I don't know. know where I'm going because it, it doesn't make sense if we think about it at all. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's true. Makes sense if you don't think. About okay, it. what I'm getting at is I just wanted Chris to go off on me all day. All right, that's it. <laughs> he hasn't yet. You're still wating. You I, just, yeah. just you're gonna catch him. He's gonna wake up in a bad mood one day, and yeah. you're gonna get it. And you'll be like, "Fuck! I wish I didn't wish for that." Right. Just be an army crawling past him. So, uh, what what are your words of wisdom with that? What do you what do you think? Yeah, work what could harder, you have done better? Um, like, I don't know. Put a tennis I think, ball uh, in the water. I don't know. Just. Strap it to the outside and let just, it spray in. I don't just wish ten years ago safety was as important as now. <laughs> Jeez. You need some sleep, Miles. I need Jesus. You need Jesus. Well <laughs> <laughs> We all need Jesus, brother. Where's that book at? That book's in here somewhere. What book? We can find it. Remember the book uh that dude brought Simba brought in? Oh yeah. Remember. I don't know where it went. What's going on over there? I don't know. Are you going to fight or what? He never yes. said anything. He never hit me up. Did you hit him up? I was waiting on you guys to when Did we found out. Uh, but no, no, no. Oh. We're, supposed, <laughs> we're not fighting that That's guy. Not, dude, I, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, so I wanted, to, I wanted to just do a random fight. But it has to be somebody that smokes, out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> It, it could probably dude, well, let's agree to that and then send out this is a jag dude. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Miles gets in first. That dude comes out next. It's it's like, it's he's like just that, jacked. Yeah, it's like that boxing video. That huge dude that comes in and this guy comes up and they ring the bell and he leaves the he ring. He walks out. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he's not like, doing that. Eh, eh. I don't think so. Here's Rio. <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll get a cage. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the time you didn't power wash? <laughs> Here it is. Here's that wrath. You've Here it is, for. motherfucker. He's, he's in me, Rio. He's fucking in me. <laughs> oh, my God, Miles. <laughs> well, no, on that uh, note. I uh, Have we found out if we're doing that? Oh, yeah, we can talk about that off air. <laughs> yeah, we're going to look into that. We're going to see if we get Miles into the North Iowa fights here coming up in what, June? Well, yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> so start, you know, double smoking and um, <laughs> chain smoking, packs of cigarettes. And the way the fight starts is we got to see who can down a beer first before we start throwing punches. All uh, right. We can introduce okay. some rules. Shotgun and then fight. Yeah. I don't know if the commission will allow that. but This we'll is the non-sanctioned Whatever. fight. <laughs> hey, if, they, if NFL can rig games, so can we can rig fights. Ooh, so. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to start a gambling site. Let's do that. Yes, 100%. (laughs) I'm on day one. (laughs) Day one again. Day one again. How many times have you reset the last uh, couple weeks? Uh, The last couple? (laughs) The day that I said I made it two days and I came here and I hit for like fucking 1,600. I feel like this probably is like your safety thing out there. We've gone 10 days. Oh, we've gone one day since no injuries. I got to go. Yeah, you're right. Have to. You can do it. You can. Mm. Not probably, but I believe in I'm you. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> we'll see. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll go ahead and start to wrap her up. So those of you beautiful people that found us on the interweb, be sure to like, subscribe, share the whole nine yards. But real, where's the podcast <laughs> no, available, no, man? <laughs> oh my god. Podcast is available anywhere. Spotify, um, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. YouTube YouTube, 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 baby. Pretty much anywhere you can find podcasts, but YouTube is very much appreciated as well. Um, it gives us the most feedback, so it'd be very appreciated for you to watch us on there. Miles, what the hell's going on? You nailing it, dude. You nailing his line. Of course, dude. I'm always perfect. Spotify, Apple Podcast, <laughs> YouTube, 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 YouTube baby. YouTube. Let's go. And Miles, uh, this random motherfucker over here loves to tell a good story. And he wants to tell yours, but how do they hit us up, Miles? You slide up in the DMs. That's right, baby. We want to tell everybody's story possible, so hit us up. We'll send out some merch. We've got some left over. Um, you can rock the three gig merchandise. I but wa- I want to know how you do... Uh... What's that? What's that? <laughs> this is your story. Yeah, he's just... Butt boofing. <laughs> I want to hear about a good butt boof. A butt boof? Is that, is, that, is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I've never heard that word. Butt chuck? No. Like, we... Miles still has to do a butt chuck, by <laughs> like, the way. Where you, oh, cool. Where do you do drugs out of somebody's butt? <laughs> oh, maybe it is butt boof, bro. I don't know. We did get a story in where a dude talked about uh, Cheetos, though. <laughs> you yes. remember that shit? Oh. That yeah. was wild. That was wild. Yes. 
But are you done? Are you yeah, good? I'm good. All right. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This is Free Geek Sports. We out. I've been writing. I love it. I got it right.